Warriors. Hey, hey, welcome back. Before we get started, well, let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds. We're going to breathe in deep and then release. Let's do it this way this time, though, because uh, this is what's going to give you an idea of what it feels like to clear your mind a little, but not long enough to let a walk-in spirit come in and poison you, start arguing, right? When you do the breathing exercise, when you start breathing in, as soon as you get to that point where you can't breathe in anymore and it kind of tickles a little, start releasing slowly, just as slow as you did breathing it in. Waiting for that moment, that timing, and then going back the other way, is going to get, get your mind locked in on a project. One, that I need you to understand how you commissioned it, how you commanded your mind to do what you ask it of. This exercise is going to help you do that because it's how you're going to be able to transition from your emotional and feelings to your logical side by reminding yourself how much power and authority you have over the machine and how it operates the body. Baby steps now. Let's do this. Five seconds. Come on. Release slowly. <laughs> All right. Felt more delicious, did it? <laughs> hey, look, as a reminder, let me tell y'all something. Th this is what's, what, what's driving narcissism and, and what you're seeing and how they operate. And it gives you kind of that ick or like something's up. Narcissists operate in this mode, looking for a sponsor, looking for someone who's going to provide them a lifestyle without having the responsibilities without having to reciprocate. Warriors are not looking for husbands and wives. Narcissists are looking for sponsors. Now, to me, my opinion now, uh, there's two kinds of empaths. The ones that don't need to be in the fight. that are dark empaths. I call them dark empaths because, uh, and look, the vernacular being used in the coaching realms is super empath because it sounds more delicious. It's kind of like the narcissist rages, you go supernova. Same shit. Uh, one, it's understood that the narcissists lack self-control and they're going to go shock and on. That's what gives them away. But in your case, you knew better. It didn't really feel good, but it did, kind of. Uh, but you understand it didn't get you nowhere. Well, a taste of that is what that dark empath gets in being able to strike back against the narcissist that instigated first. And so this, this is what I mean. A, a super empath can win without getting the hands dirty. This is what drives narcissists crazy. It's why that many of them, when they speak uh, highly of you and this and that, they hate the fact that in their experience with you, there came a certain point in time where they realized you're always right. What they didn't realize is you cared enough about them to point out their future. And they felt threatened by it because, look, what a super empath is able to do without prejudice is this. They know where a narcissist is lacking. And they'll begin to remind them about how incompetent they really are. And so what happens is super impacts sabotage a narcissist in a way that is equally draining to the narcissist. They become a victim to their own poison. 
super empaths can reflect the very toxicity the narcissist gives out right back to them and they don't see it coming one of the things narcissists fear is someone that notices their insecurities notices their flaws and witnesses their downfall see when you witness a narcissist mortification whenever they start to to go spiraling downhill uh, this makes a narcissist realize that they're not who they think they are and it also lets them know by the lack of pity from a super empath when they're in this disposition because it's it doesn't work this is where that saying they cried wolf one too many times a narcissist won't change an empath will you either become recluse or you become a super empath in the narcissist realm they call you karma a witch hunter who only activates when provoked on the very one provoke first now the rules of engagement aren't equal See, it's like bringing a butter knife to a nuclear fight one thing that is, that is, is a super empath is like one of them get her done operatives uh, kind of like right back at you but only toward the narcissist and after that it's like being able to destroy a narcissist intelligently by showing how off their character is and the only thing you had to do was challenge them Allowing their competency and lack of intellect to bleed through. You see, super empaths have a way of imitating the narcissist in such a way that the narcissist becomes a victim of their own poison. They, they dig a hole not realizing it's their own. They fall for their own setups. And what really, really threatens a narcissist is this. Having to reinvent themselves all over again because they ran out of time. Picking on the wrong one. Warriors, they're different levels. The front line isn't for everybody. Don't go tiptoeing and shit. You don't need to be. Some of you need to totally not be playing in the devil's playground. Period. It's why you got your ass handed to you the way you did. And some of you you know who you are. You're holding the line. Allowing those who did make badass decisions in life to raise our future leaders. Giving them this same awareness. Giving them an early chance in life. A head start that wasn't given to us. Every one of you has a gift a different way. And for those of you who can't quite get over that hump, get the help you need, reach out.
there are those that are out there in these coaching communities, clinicians, that have been through what you've been through and immediately will put your mind at ease and share their experience in such a way that it resonates as a voice of calm and you know it. You can feel it before you can see it. This intuition's been guiding you your whole life. Learn to trust it again. Stop ignoring it. That needs to be the voice that screams, not the fucking whisper. That was the manipulation. Getting you to not believe in what you know to be true. Can I get a what, what? Or a what, what? Shh, come on now. Hey, I want to thank the warrior that got me some paper. Got me paper. Enjoy your gift from Human. I hope I said that right. Come on. France. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Check this out. Big mistakes. Bigger is this mistakes. Looking for good, meaningful one night stands. Given still lives on their bed. Their dream house is a little cabin with no power deep in the forest. Drives 10 miles under the speed limit, yo. <laughs> At this point, if a clown invited them into the sewer, they just go. <laughs> Dug a bomb shelter in the backyard. Frozen their eggs just in case this dating thing takes too long. <laughs> Gotta freeze them with ethos. Never had such a strong opinion about things until they started listening to talk radio. Do people still listen to that? Hmm. Their dog has more accessories than they do. And needs a longer weekend because they need more time to do nothing. <laughs> That's when the weekends all blend together. It all just bleed over. Just bleed, bleed over. <laughs> hey, man, thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Get out there and own it. Hold the line. And understand something. You've changed. For the better. Narcissists only change tactics and people. You keep your foot on their throat. No wiggle room, no do-overs. And get out there and it. It's never good by waves. It's always until next time. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap sky of faith. Leap of faith. <laughs> hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe. The that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet. Yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. You got my back. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying. 
hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on sword fight uh, so i guess we'll have to call it a draw there you go we'll have to do it again <laughs> all right when are you gonna get your license now i'm gonna work on it tomorrow <laughs> i'll well, be back Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us this guy oh, Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say what an honor badass crew i love it here the hospitality is just phenomenal Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride. Hey, man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.